scene is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you kick me. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> ¡Eso! ¡Uh! So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. See! Different pages of the same. I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets. But we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. I'll apologize to Gilberto for shooting me. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Three of criminal charges and possessing valid identification are eligible for health care. Anyone suspected of a criminal offense may not access social services prior to an investigation and official PDP clearance. Mierda! Run! Interrupir la paz, demorar el progreso, o hacer la violencia. Gotta take out that alarm. Cuando la traemos 
para la casa, se pone a llorar. Es difícil seguirla. Ella siempre está deambulando. ¿Tú dices que no lo ves?
can kill Carlito. Keep going. We're almost at the cave. It's going to be on the right. I think Carlito is my new favorite legend. I'll pretend you didn't say that. But I did it. So you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish it's he was here now. He'd be so, so, so happy to see us and Carlito. It's about happy everything. to see you and okay, Carlito, Clara. maybe. Shoot. No, not like you this. Come find me at the Esperanza School for the Lost. I think you know the place. Yeah, you could say that. On my way. Danny, make sure you're alone. No Juan. This is just you and me. What are you doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Talia. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us, we don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. You wanna tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're joking, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. 
and he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live, and then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. <laughs> but the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. There's these farmers in Sombreado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Hey, Danny. You recruit those farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. I think this will help. It is not the hit. When it's I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass. Fucking up the convoy. Taking whatever they're carrying. I'm fighting with Honron. Carajo. You're ready. I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded.
It's you. This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. See, si. on Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now, so watch the roads. Okay. Que vola, Danny. Over here. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Hey! Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Hold on. Checkpoint. Stay okay. quiet. Okay, careful, Danny. From command. Yeah? Okay. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. <laughs> oh, fuck her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. <clears throat> Dentists were always late. Not this one. Fucking hell. What is it with Castillo and Teeth? They've got a medic. What a beautiful set of teeth you have, Rosano. Now tell me. We got it! We need to find us. Elena, the dentist is dead. The morale is safe, for now. That's fucking great news, Danny. 
Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. I'm going to go to the last day we were here. You sure you're not La Mora, Fabi? I'm just saying. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, sí, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. Hmm? We were waiting for you. My baby Tigre, a big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. <laughs> so, I'm Santos? No, you are me, the feast. Now, before every mission, 
I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagined us destroying the Navy. We doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Way's blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! Aguerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside! Excelente! That tank was their most powerful weapon! Now, it's time to kill these fake yarn rats! Hey! 
Benitez. Hey, baby Tigre, you still there? See, si. seems to be fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, El Tigre. How do I open the door? Benitez went in. I bet some button on the console will do the trick.
in door down. Benitez.
Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, Mama. Same mistakes. New faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. Enjoy your trophy. Who needs this is private stash? Eh? <laughs> Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than that Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Viva la moral! <laughs> There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? The Admiral was <laughs> a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, El Presidente has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched them die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you lose in this chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> But I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes! Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Chuchis. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Elena. Long live Libertad! Clara, the Admiral is dead. That's a huge blow to Anton's military. Benitez was the poster child for the new Yara. With the Admiral gone, they're disorganized. Keep hitting them hard, Danny. That was the plan. Take care, Clara. 